biggest areas of changes under the new legislation is in the international tax area. And I know there's a lot of changes applicable to, to companies' 2017 taxes with respect to that, but looking forward to 2018 and later years, what are the key differences that are, are, are happening in that area? Um, great. The first one that I could think of is moving to a territorial system, right? That's been all over the news. That's, you know, really one of the main drivers behind behind this act. And so um, that's really only applicable to C corporations, though. So C corporations do move to a territorial system, which means dividends for their foreign subs will not be taxed in the U.S. They'll, they'll get an exemption on that piece of it. Um, but they did put some exceptions into that piece of it um, to make it a little bit more complex um, for the anti deferral rules. Um, one of them is called guilty. And so um, effectively, your earnings in those foreign subsidiaries could still be pulled in and taxed in the U.S. If you don't, if you make more than a normal return, we'll just leave it at that. I'm guessing the guilty acronym was not an accident. I'm going to guess it was not. <laughs> it was not. Um, one of the other provisions out there is called the, the beat tax, so base erosion um, anti-avoidance tax. And so if you're making payments to a foreign related party, i.e. your foreign subsidiary, those could be subject to an additional minimum tax as well here in the U.S. So it, it sounds like things aren't necessarily simpler going forward, are they? No, they're definitely not simpler. They've added some three, I would say three new provisions that are, are pretty complex and we're definitely going to see a lot more guidance out there and how they're going to work and, and new regulations that will come out to support what the intention was um, for these provisions. Um, there is one nice benefit that's coming out of it as well. It's called FIDI, so Foreign Derived Intangible Income. Big picture, if you have pay, um, if you're exporting goods to a foreign person, um, providing services to a foreign um, person, or charging foreign royalties, those could um, also be eligible for a deduction up to 37.5% uh, on, on your corporate tax return. So, so that's just C corporations again? That's just C corporations. So, so that it, it sounds like really all of these provisions have some pretty big differences depending on whether you're a C corporation or any other type of entity or just an individual owner of a foreign corporation. Yeah, yeah, because individuals don't move to a territorial system. So dividends from foreign subsidiaries will still be taxed here in the U.S. They will be subject to that new guilty provision that I just talked about as well. Um, so definitely one of the key takeaways that we're talking with our clients are is structure. So really looking at your structure hard and determining if it really is going to give you the best global effective tax rate. So it sounds like probably the, the, the most urgent to do with respect to looking at 2018 taxes for international operations is first to understand the basics of how these provisions will apply and model out how they might apply and then to start evaluating whether changes in structure or, or other things in the operational or structural um, um, kind of areas need to, to change as a result of this. That's exactly right.